Okay, so it's a little snippet. We've moved further. We've got our workpiece on the table. Now, I'm going to do a bit more info on where we're at right now, but I need to ask you a question. If any of you guys have got experience with Fusion 360 multi-axis toolpaths. Now, whilst playing with the Trunnion, my seven day trial ran out before I got a chance to do um, any experiments with toolpaths. So just time run away with me, next thing you know, seven day free trial has expired. So I need to machine inside here. Um, we roughed these out. This one was a good finish, um, but we roughed out. These ones weren't. You can see it hasn't cleaned up. But regardless of that, what I'd like to know, if I buy Fusion 360 multi-axis um, manufacturing extension, is it possible for me to machine in here like a 3D ramp because there's parts of this that I'm not getting to. You see down there in that corner and that corner? This is a 17 mil ball nose tool. So you can have a little bit of undercut. It can get in there fine um, because obviously 17 mil tool, radius 8.5 mil rad. On here, there are 15 mil rads at the bottom there. So it should be able to get in. But I think what's stopping it is the angle. We tilt it one way. Um, about six degrees back to get the finish we've got now. Now, our offset is a little bit out, so that is why we have skipped a little bit, and our roughing program was too rough. So we can sort that out on the next part. We're touching on this side, and we've got a half-decent transition. Um, when this is a good finish, it will be better. So that's okay, but we're not getting to the back over there. I wish you could see down on that corner, but basically this inside corner here is not going smoothly into the oval profile. Now, what I'm wondering is with um, multi-axis tool parts, I'm just gonna put this over that side so you can see better. Is it possible that I can machine my 3D ramp tool path in here whilst my A-axis rocks side to side as it ramps down. So as it's coming down, as the tool's coming round this side of the part, it's tilted in a positive direction. And as the tool goes to the back side of the part, it rotates around simultaneously and allows me to touch in and get fully onto the back of that. So again, whilst we're machining down, basically the fault fast is We'll be doing this. It's only got to go about five, six degrees each way. Is that possible? Because I have posted this on the Fusion 360 forum, so I'm hoping I'll get some replies there. There's no rush now because I'm going home in a minute, so this is going to be left till next week. But I don't want to buy the because I didn't get a chance to use my free trial, which I'm very annoyed at because I shouldn't have I should have waited um, until I was ready to go with it, but I was a bit keen, and then we had the training problems. But um, I don't want to pay for one month's extension of £180, including the VAT, if it's not going to work anyway. So I'd rather somebody say, yeah, we use that. You can use multi-axis. Um, you have to use this toolpath or that toolpath, and this will do exactly what you want. As long as I know it can do it, I've got no problem paying for that extension for the month to have a play and create a toolpath. Um, because I assume if I buy one month, I've got a month to do what I need to do. And once the tool path and the job is saved, as long as I don't need to edit that, then I've got it for good. Um, but yes, is it possible to simultaneously rock the fourth axis while doing like an inside contour or an inside ramp so that I get better access for the entire tool? Because for some reason, I am not getting into these back corners like you can see down there. So you can see I've touched in the middle as it comes down, but it's not going into them corners um, like it should do. And you can see, if I just take this one there, so this is the shape where it's not going in the corners in this oval, but of course the tool is plenty small enough to fully touch and get into all them corners with no dramas. So I don't actually know why it's not doing it. So. Yes.
Would appreciate any advice from you guys who use multi-axis toolpaths with Fusion 360. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon.